Daniela and Toby. So some of you might know that we have a greenhouse cat. He lives in this greenhouse and it's 10,000 square feet of carnivorous plants. And so a question that I get a lot is, are carnivorous plants safe for pets? And I brought Toby along just so you could see. Toby lives in this greenhouse with all of these plants and he's totally fine. Carnivorous plants are safe for pets, but that doesn't mean that they're safe from pets. So carnivorous plants are not toxic to pets, um, but they are kind of tasty. So I'm, I've got my top offenders right here in front of me of plants that for some reason or other cats seem to like to eat. And while they don't hurt the cat, it's often really hard for the plant to deal with. So I just thought I'd give you a heads up. The number one plant that the cat seems to love is Drosera capensis, or really any Drosera, but these are one of the most common Drosera you'll find. And it seems like that sticky dew is irresistible to cats. They love it. You'll often find a cat licking this dew or even just chewing the leaves down to nubbins. If that happens to your capensis or um, many other Drosera's, often they will come back from their roots if you give them a little time in TLC, but uh, don't worry, your cat will be okay. Your plant might be okay. So that's the number one offender. You'd be shocked to learn the next one, fly traps. I don't know why, I can't explain why cats love these, but they do. They love to eat the leaves of Venus flytraps. It is really strange. I really don't know how or why, but they do. Flytraps have a rhizome in the soil, so if you give them enough love, they often will come back from, those, from that rhizome. Just make sure they get a lot of sunlight to stimulate that growth of whatever is left, because usually they just eat down to the nubs and there's like the tiniest little bit of growth still left. But flytraps also don't really love being eaten, so they often do die, unfortunately. The next one that I often hear about getting eaten are Mexican butterworts, which are a great houseplant and so lovely. There's something about these shimmery, lovely, dewy leaves that cats really enjoy, and it's another one where they start out licking the leaves and then they end up eating them. These often die because these are kind of a delicate sea anemone of a plant, and just the whole process is very violent to them because they get sort of ripped off the pot and they end up getting sort of mangled in the process. It's pretty rare for these just to survive a cat eating such experience, um, but it can happen. And then my last one that I'm gonna show you is actually very cool, Highland Nepenthes. So Nepenthes make great houseplants and actually this is the one that cats seem to eat the least. So this is my advice. If you are looking for something that your cat probably won't eat, it's actually surprisingly the Highland Nepenthes. They're not that into this. They might nibble the leaves a little bit, but these tend to be pretty big plants over time, and so they can take that abuse. Um, if you have a cat that is like super into eating plants, and I know a lot of them are, my best advice is to get like an old fish tank and use that as a terrarium. A lot of those you can retrofit with a nice mesh top that'll really keep the cats out. And I've seen a lot of people email me pictures of like their beautiful terrarium and the plants love it because it's increased humidity often. And like the cats will be like sitting on top of the fish tank and just like looking inside like, curse you. So that's my best advice is try to put your plants in a, maybe a terrarium or a terrarium environment where they'll be safe from the cats or obviously put the plants where the cats can't get to them. But yes, don't worry, your cats, your dogs, I know dogs often often eat them too. Um, lizards, I get asked about lizards. I would be really careful with lizards. They have a very delicate system. I get a lot of questions about like bearded dragon terrariums. I would be really careful. I have introduced a uh, Drosera capensis into a bearded dragon terrarium personally, and the beardy left it alone, which is a shock because we all know they like to eat everything. But I would be a little careful with that because they have a delicate system. I wouldn't just introduce anything into that. And also the plants have a specialized growing environment that they need for their soils. So be thoughtful of that. I know people also grow frogs and carnivorous plants pretty successfully, but you do need to be careful because some carnivorous plants are big enough to eat frogs. So be thoughtful of that. Otherwise you're good to go mixing your pets and plants. All right, let me know if you have any stories about what your pets have eaten. I'm actually really curious. It's always good for me to know all of the crazy stories. Definitely subscribe for more videos and I can't wait to hear from you. Happy growing.